friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Friday, it's Friday, so it's weigh-in day, it's Vlogmas, we're getting close to Christmas. It's really the best time of the year, let's be completely honest. I am here today to share with you how my week went you know or may not know, I have decided to not track for the remainder of 2020. Last week was my first weigh-in officially of not tracking, and I basically maintained my weight. I ended up being 0.1 up, which is maintenance. So that went really, really well. And I also shared in last week's weigh-in video that this week, I wanted to see the scale move down just a little bit, just a few ounces was my goal this week. Even though I'm still not tracking, I wanted to see if I was able to move that scale in the right direction without tracking. So I'm here today to share with you the results of my weight loss over this last week, how my week went, we'll set some goals for the upcoming week, and of course, a recap of the WW Workshop topic. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and definitely, definitely helps out my channel. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, I am less than 300 subscribers away from hitting my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So if you would do me a huge, huge favor, and subscribe and make sure you turn the bell on next to it. That way you're just notified whenever new videos are uploaded. I do a weigh in every Friday, so you certainly don't wanna miss out. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below for my nutrition coaching. I offer macro and calorie calculation as well as 30 minute and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. This also makes a fantastic healthy lifestyle gift. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website down in the description box. You'll also find links, discount codes to all of my very, very favorite things, as well as the link to head on over and join us on my Facebook group. I'd love to have you over there and I have a lot of fun things up my sleeve moving into 2021, so you certainly don't wanna miss out on all the excitement. So head on over and join us on Facebook. So it's Friday, it's weigh-in day, it's workshop topic recap day, let's do it. So first, let's chat a little bit about my week. So I am in week two of no tracking officially. I felt so good this week. I kind of got my spunk, my momentum back, and I don't know if it's because I've chosen not to track or if it's just because the freedom that comes with not tracking kind of reignited the spark in me for my weight loss journey. And this week, I killed it. I stayed right where I needed to be food-wise. I feel really, really good about the foods that I chose. I didn't indulge at all past Saturday. Saturday's my high calorie day, the day I use my weeklies. This happens every single week. And once that was over, I was right back on track. And like I said, I don't know if it's the freedom. I don't know if it's the feeling of being on track and not having to track. That was so exciting for me, but I killed it this last week. I feel really good about the food that I took in as well as the activity that I got in. I did four days of jazzercise and I have four days scheduled this next week as well. So I feel really good. I feel really good. With our state essentially being in a shutdown again, there's no holiday parties to be had. We don't even have the real estate holiday party that we have every year. I'm not having the girls over from my last job. So I really don't have any excuse to not eat good up until the holidays. So I feel good about that too, even though it sucks on the back end that there's not a lot of holiday events. I feel good that I know that I can control my food for the month of December. So it's going well. I feel really good about it. So let's see if that scale cooperated and all my feeling good actually resulted in a little bit of a loss. But before we jump into my way in, let's talk about the workshop topic. I like this. I like this a lot. And since I've been going to workshops again, I don't remember this being a topic before. And it's all about setting boundaries and learning how to say no. And this is something that I struggle with. I know this is something that a lot of people struggle with. And that is to say no. No to friends, no to family, no to your boss, no to your spouse. It's hard to say no. We want to please people. We want to be the yes man. But sometimes we have to say no, especially if it's detrimental to our mental 
mental health, our physical health, or our well-being in general. The holidays are always a really busy time. And a lot of these like pop-up, uh-oh, events just kind of happen. You're invited to a last minute dinner. You're invited out for drinks with some friends. Maybe your family decides to host a intimate get together amidst the pandemic. Whatever the case may be, these things just like to pop up and spring on us. So we need to be able to set some boundaries when we're attending these events to help us reach whatever goals we've set forth for the month of December. It's important to be able to decline offers without offending the person who's invited us. So WW is sharing four tips with us on how to do just that, how to politely decline an offer and how to politely say no when it is in our best interest to do so. Tip number one is take a neutral path when you're put into these situations where you have to decline or you have to say no. This way you're limiting the height of emotions that can be driven by these types of environments. So if someone offers you a delicious frosted sugar cookie and you know that that's just not going to work with your goals, what is an example of a polite way to decline? I appreciate you offering me a second frosted sugar cookie. Tip number two is acknowledge the person who's asking. Acknowledge their point of view. Think about how they would feel if you said no or if you declined and make sure that you do it in a very polite, loving, and warm way. I appreciate you offering me a second frosted sugar cookie. So back to tip number two, we appreciated them offering us a second frosted sugar cookie. So we may say that sugar cookie was absolutely delicious. I cannot believe you actually made that from scratch. Tip number three is be completely transparent, honest, and upfront on why you're choosing to decline their offer or why you're choosing to say no. An example of this may be, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that second frosted sugar cookie as delicious as it was because I'm really trying to learn to listen to my body when I'm full and satisfied. And tip number four, in the event that you're declining an offer or an invitation from a close friend, try to think of an alternative to what they're offering that kind of benefits the both of you. In our sugar cookie example, you could say, but do you mind if I take one of your frosted sugar cookies home for tomorrow? That way you're politely declining in the moment. You're being transparent and honest and explaining why you're declining that second cookie. You're also acknowledging how amazing the cookies were. Lastly, asking to take a second one home to treat yourself for it the following day. So this way you're politely declining, you're setting some boundaries, you're learning how to say no, but you're not offending the person asking you if you'd like a second frosted sugar cookie. I really like this topic and as we go throughout our weight loss journey or a healthy lifestyle journey, a lot of times we have to say no. There are just things that come up, events, foods, holidays that come up where we have to politely decline. So I like that they gave an example and then showed you four tips on how to politely decline and say no when it just doesn't fit into what you're trying to achieve. So great job on the workshop topic this week, WW. So now let's jump into my weigh-in and some goals for the upcoming week. We are halfway through December or pretty close to halfway. That's crazy to me. I haven't even wrapped a single gift, so I need to definitely, definitely work on that. But my goal moving into this next week is to continue to not track, to mindfully eat, to choose good foods and watch my portions. My goal is to maintain or at best see a little bit of a loss for the upcoming week. I do not wanna see the scale move in the wrong direction. I kind of explained that when I decided to take this no tracking approach for the month of December. So based on no tracking this last week, feeling really good about the choices that I made as well as working out four times when I hopped on the scale, I'm down 0.6. Over half of a pound, not tracking. So the proof is in the pudding that as long as you make good food choices, you've built your metabolism back up from adaptation, you're able to eat a little bit more, mindfully choose foods, still have your favorite indulgences in foods and maintain weight, or in my case, even lose a little bit of weight. So I'm really proud of myself. It kind of propels me into being excited for the upcoming week to see if I can do this again but it's going great. And like I said, I feel free. I'm really liking not having to worry about tracking. I can just live in the moment, enjoy the foods that I love, still be mindful, but not have to track every little thing that I'm eating. So that's it for me for the week. Now I wanna hear from you guys. How are you guys doing in the month of December? Are you struggling? Are you able to stay on track? 
What are you trying to achieve? Are you hoping for a maintain through the rest of 2020? Are you still on a weight loss mission? Or what is your kind of goal finishing out this year? Also, let me know how you feel about this workshop topic. And if you're someone that's actually good at saying no, I know that I struggle with it. So this workshop topic definitely, definitely speaks to my heart. So leave all that down in the comments. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and you enjoyed these weekly weigh-ins. Also, again, help me reach 30,000 by hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. Don't forget about that description box where you'll find my nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, my Facebook group. Head over and join us. You guys are going to be so excited what I have up my sleeve for the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy Vlogmas, happy Friday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye, friends.